So a very quick example of what you can do with Bluebeam, a few custom tools, and then Excel and Power Query. Uh, this is a kind of a setup for doing a roof timber takeoff. So I will go through this as quick as I can. Right, first thing we want to do is mark up some of these roof timbers. So we have a we've got a ridge through here. Another ridge, another ridge, and then we've got some valleys, so valley rafters. Now we've got to be careful how we mark these up, so they want to come right through there. And they're all labelled up. Okay, so you've got some valleys, um, put some normal rafters on there. Come on, rafters. So uh, let's put either side of this opening. Up to the center. To the center of the ridge. Put a couple more in there. Actually, let's put some. Uh, yes, yeah, just put a couple more in there. Obviously, it'd be easier if there was a um, marked up drawing with all the roof timbers on it, but um, we haven't got that at the moment. Another rafter, let's put a couple more in this side as well. Now what we can also do, we've got some valley rafters. Put a couple of these in. Sorry, I've used the wrong one. Let's delete that. We want a valley jack rafter. A couple of those are do for now. And because we've got a different pitch on this side, we'll put a couple coming off of this side as well. Going up to this ridge. Okay, and then we can do things like we can have a, a wall plate. So this is a wall plate in here. Now we need to measure these individually. Got wall plates in there. We can have um, some fascia.
we can add some um, add some barge boards. And um, sockets, they're going to basically follow the barge boards. Um, we can have some normal soffits to follow the fascia. So let's just leave it at that marking up at the moment. We've got a few, a few items on there. We've got the uh, markups down the bottom. So what we need to do in here, it's already pre-populated. I've uh, some dimensions for these timbers, which I've given them in millimeters. Um, could also do this in inches. Now, all we need to do is go in and say what our pitches are for the various different areas. So um, this is a 50 degree pitch. So we put 50 degrees in these ones. Fascia is horizontal, so that doesn't need a pitch. Rafters, so we've got some rafters here. These are all at 30 degrees. So we can highlight all the common rafters. Come over to our pitch, 30 degrees. Valley rafters, I'll come back to those in a minute. Valley jack rafters. So we've got a couple of different pitches on these. So the first couple are 30 degrees. But the last few are 50 degrees. And the ridge is horizontal. We don't need to worry about that. Soffit's horizontal. Soffit pitched. Now these are both at 50 degrees again. And the wall plate is horizontal. Now let's come back to the... Um, The valleys. Now what we can do with this is if we're going to use this one here we're going to say the, the pitch is 30 degrees but then we need to use we need to have a look at what our angle is here. So if we come down to here, look at that, it's 24.67 off of there. So what we can then come back to our valleys and our valley angle in here, we can put 24.67, 24.67. .67 for that one as well, and that's our markups done. So what I will now do is I will save that, and I will export the measures to a CSV. And what we will now do is we will go over to our Excel file, which you can see is blank here at the moment. Uh, it is linked back on this page to our roof plan, roof plans to the CSV file from that. So if I go into this now and I hit this button here, it does a little bit of spinning, it tells you it's retrieving the data. Does a few calculations. There you go. So what it's done is brought forward all the information. It's worked out the lengths. Or, um, it's worked. I've got a couple of tables here with some values in for the materials, for doing the cuts, the labour, and a few other bits and pieces. So this works out how much you've got of each. It will work out your actual length of rafters based on um, 
whether they're kind of in 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 the UK, the timber's bought in every three hundred mil, so uh, so three hundred six hundred, I guess in a in the US it'd be in every foot. So the labour quantity for the uh, rafters will be slightly different to the material quantity, but it works out everything for you. It'll work out a value um, for each item. You can break it down as many different ways as you want, really. Um, and what it will also do is give you a cutting schedule. So it will say what your barge bore it is, um, what your pitch is from your drawing, what your drawing length is, and what your actual rounded up length is after you've applied the angles to it. It will also tell you how many of each item you've got. So you've got a full cutting list. You can obviously do a lot more with this and you can put a lot more information in. You can put areas of uh, roof tiles and things like that. And the list is endless or the possibilities are endless. So that was just a um, very quick demonstration of what you can do with um, Bluebeam and Excel.